Hey everybody, this is a Club Casino Model B. This is a two input amp head, a, I believe a vocal head. This is not for like a guitar. Uh, this came to me, uh, take a look at an inspection and the pilot lamp doesn't work. And when I mean doesn't work, I don't mean the bulb is burned out. I mean the lamp itself doesn't work. There's no electricity going to it. And that's kind of important. I, I would assume in situations where you don't know if uh, somebody unplugged your amplifier for your vocals and when the music starts you're not gonna hear anybody singing so you need to know if there's actually power to the unit so we're gonna open it up we're gonna take a look we're gonna inspect it I've never seen a club casino before so I thought I would share that with everybody as I do so let's get started It didn't take long to find out why the pilot light wasn't working. We could see this cable here comes off from the uh, transformer and that's fine. It goes to a resistor here, purpose of which is not yet understood, probably voltage dropping or what have you. Yeah, 200 ohm, five watt resistor and it had broken off of this grounding lug and must have been touching the case for some time. We could see that it had heated itself to this sort of lacquer finish over the case and broke off some of it. So we're just simply going to reconnect it to the ground log and, and that should probably get this going again. I don't foresee any other problems with that, but I thought that's kind of cool. See that? So that's that. I'm gonna get that done, but I don't want to energize this unit yet because I just want to go over a couple other things. I like to hit these screws on the capacitors here with some deoxid. There's a, a lot of oxidization on these, though the caps themselves seem okay. I don't see any bulging. I'm not going to be doing any any particular work to this unit. Worth noting there's a fuse inside the unit, should it ever die for any reason. Here's something that surprised me, and, and mind you, I look at the this board here, and, and the date code looks like, what, the 39th week of 73? As I read that, and I might be wrong, I look at other components, other components show 31st week of 73, I see on a, a rectifier. So 39th week of 73, I see an IC. So what is this F739DC? What is that, a Fairchild chip right there? Let's look that up and see what that is. I'd like to know. There's also one on the other channel, the other channel being identical. I did not expect to see an IC on this unit. So I looked up an IC closely resembling that model number. It's a, a mil-spec uh, IC, but as one would expect, it, it turns out it's a pre-amplifier. And it still surprises me because I would have figured back then they would have used uh, discrete components for the preamp stage of this, but they they put it all there on that IC, I guess, right? I don't know enough about this. I haven't gone that deep into it, but I'm just very interesting as far as I'm concerned. So really quickly, going to hit these. Just like that, that's it. That should stop any further damage on these screws. Keep them as they are oil will stay on here. Notice the only one that actually rusted is the one that's acting as like the star ground that all of the green wires are connected to. These look like diodes back here but they also look awfully crunchy. You can see this this black residue coming off the metal here. There is a shine under there. See that? I scrape it with my nail. These probably have seen better days and are not long for this world but it is working fine right now so we're not here to do any of this. Just pointing it out as I see it. This one does sit right on top of these two 5 watt resistors. Some may have just noticed as I finished that Sun amplifier not too long ago that every single transistor in that amp was socketed, also made in 73. There's not a single socketed uh, transistor in this amp. Every one of them is soldered to the board and I've been all through this. That includes the preamp stage uh, the the amplifier stage I look through here on on the heat sinks and it I can't make out that those two right there but I would assume that that's also soldered in since this one is soldered in back here remove that laminate from the end of the resistor and we'll we'll pry this tab up
verify the correct type of bulb. So I'm going to close up this cover. And now we'll see if the bulb works. And there we go. Bulb is working. Which is in fact the only thing that I was going to repair in here. Except for when these caps came loose. So I'll just glue this and we will put this back into the cabinet. And that'll be it. It's time to throw it back in. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video on the Club Casino amplifier head. Hit that like button down below. Helps me out a lot when you do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?